So today our topic is image segmentation and this is Dr. Dibbo presenting you the lecture series on digital image processing. So what do you understand by image segmentation? Okay, so image segmentation is a technique that divides an image into different regions that are connected you may underline the term connected and have some similarity within the region and some differences between adjacent regions. So there are two, three important points that you have to note from the definition of image segmentation. That is, when we go for segmenting an image, means we are trying to divide the image into different regions and that each an individual region will be known as segment while doing so two properties should be maintained that similarity within the region should be high and similarity among different regions should be less that is difference should exist among or between adjacent regions okay so that is our image segmentation and why we are doing so why are we performing image segmentation because here the goal is easier to find individual objects in an image. So we perform image segmentation to find some uh, objects of interest in our input image. Just for example, while detecting tumor, we'll perform the segmentation of the tumor image to segment that tumor this means to locate the tumor or to particularly focus on that tumor itself. Okay. Now, there are actually two kinds of approaches to segmentation and they are discontinuity based and similarity based. Well, let's see what are they, what are the uh, discontinuity based technique or what are the similarity based techniques so similarity may be due to pixel intensity color or texture and differences are sudden changes that is discontinuities in any of this that is intensity color or texture but especially sudden changes in intensity along a boundary line is known as edge and that is the main basis on discontinuity based segmentation. So we got one important definition for a technical term that is edge. So what do you mean by edge? If someone asks you then we'll define as as sudden changes in intensity along a boundary line will define an edge. Well, let me show you some figures where, where I have performed segmentation so that you will be aware with the segmentation result, how they will appear like. So you see this image. This is the uh, aeroplane image. And this is a very famous one. Okay. And after performing the segmentation, we got an output like this. And this is the segmentation output. And here you will see different regions. Okay, this particular image is divided into different regions. And especially, as you know, in this image, we are focusing on the airplane. And in this segmented output, we got airplane as a different segment itself. So we can particularly focus on this output, that is airplane, and we'll have a study on that. Okay, so that's why we perform segmentation so that our object of interest may be separated from the other different re objects or reasons in that image. Similarly, this image you will see we have rivers, we have different hills. Okay, so after segmentation, you'll get an output like this. So actually, this is the output from a color image segmentation technique that I have proposed in my research work and the output is 
clearly depicting the river in a different color and in the different regions with different colors okay based on the on some similarity or homogeneous criteria so that's the output of segmentation i hope now you are aware with that how the segmentation output will look like now detection of discontinuities we have three kinds of discontinuities of intensity points lines and edges you should note down points lines and edges these are the three kinds of discontinuities of intensity of an image and the most common way to look for discontinuities is to scan a small marks over the image and the marks determines which kind of discontinuity to look for well you will see in this image so you will see in this image that this is the general three cross three marks. We have W1, W2, W3, W4, W5, W6, W7, W8, W9. So R is W1, Z1 plus W2, Z2 up to W and Zn. That is summation goes from, I's goes from 1 to 9 and WI, Zi. So overall R, that is the reason of that image will be given by summation of this. So this is a general three cross three marks. So now detection of discontinuities that is point detection. If R is greater than T and T is a kind of non-negative threshold, then you see the first one is the point detection marks, and then a, this this is the marks we are using. Okay. And then we have an X-ray image of a turbine blade with a porosity and then results of the point detection and then result using this equation that we have just used. Okay, so that is a point detection. Don't worry, I'll discuss the threshold-based segmentation in details. But for this lecture, this is sufficient for you that you have we have three kinds of discontinuities in image that is point, lines and edges and we have two different approaches for image segmentation that is discontinuity based and similarity based. Okay and we perform segmentation to find individual objects in an image. So that's all for this lecture. So coming to today's questions, what do you mean by image segmentation and why we perform image segmentation? Second question is what are the two different kinds of approaches we have in image segmentation well so comment your answer meet you in the next lecture till then take care bye bye